If you clicked this video, then I'm going to guess you have watched the latest crime documentary, Don't Fuck With Cats. One question that seems to be popping up about this case is was there somebody else involved? And it really seems to be dividing people. So I thought I would make a quick video addressing some of the theories surrounding this case. Months prior to the brutal and deeply disturbing killing of June, Luca did actually tell his mother and his lawyer that he was being forced to carry out these sickening crimes by somebody who went by the name of Manny Lopez. However, when Luca was questioned, it seemed very apparent that he himself had created this Manny character, influenced by the movie Basic Instinct. And many people have speculated that it was simply an alibi, and some think he created Manny to make his case more mysterious if he was to be caught. After all, we know he planned the killing to be theatrical. But what has raised many eyebrows is one of the videos that is featured in Don't Fuck With Cats. A second pair of hands can be seen, and this has left many people confused and in search of answers. The video in question is the one where Luca feeds a kitten to the snake, and has obviously added a whole new level of mystery to the killings. What if Luca was actually telling the truth? What if he was indeed being forced to do these things by the person we can see in the video? Well, in reality, the most likely explanation for this is that another sick individual allowed Luca to feed a cat to their pet snake. Luca was known to use websites and various forums, just like how he lured Jun to his apartment. And these videos are sadly common on the darker sides of the internet. Many people do enjoy watching animals being tortured or killed. However, there are some other things that don't really make sense. Video surveillance shows that Luca and Jun arrive at Luca's apartment by 10.16pm and by 2.06am the following day, Luca is seen going outside with what could very well be a videotape. So that means within that time, he would have to drug Jun and wait for him to be knocked out, tie him up, record the video in which he murders, decapitates and dismembers June's body. Luca would still need to clean the apartment, then put the torso in a suitcase and carry it down the stairs, and put the decapitated head in the park, and package the body parts and send them off at the post office, edit a 3 hour long video down to 11 minutes and upload it himself all on the 25th of May, and he has to do this with enough of the day left for people to see it, share it, and notify the authorities before his flight to Paris at 8am on the 26th. All of this does seem like a lot of work for one person to do, so it does seem plausible that somebody else could have taken care of the editing and distribution of the murder video. The police also recovered two laptops from Luca and analysed both of them. One had footage made on the 19th of May featuring somebody else, which means that Luca had tried to do this to another person, but thankfully he was unsuccessful. The full footage and the edited footage for the uploaded video was never found on any of his devices. So this means that he could have given the recording to somebody else to upload and we can see him leave the apartment with something in his hand that looked like a videotape. If you have seen my other video about Luca, you will know that he had some money troubles. So maybe he was creating these disturbing videos for money. Perhaps he was working as an escort and somebody had offered him money to do these things and film them. So maybe they could be small nuggets of truth in his story that he gave to the authorities. There have been also some rumours. It's said that there was more than just Luca and Jun in the apartment that night, and that an actor named Derek McKinnon could have assisted Luca in the killing. Derek lived in the apartment above Luca, and at the time, Derek was working on a parody of a movie, a parody of Casablanca. And if you remember, it's the poster of the movie which is placed on the wall during the killing of June. However, 
This is just speculation and internet rumours. I don't find any of these claims to be credible, so I thought I would mention this, but also say that there is no evidence to suggest that Derek helped at all. But apparently Derek was the only person that would speak to Luca in the entire building. Derek even told his neighbours that Luca once invited him into his apartment, but he was too busy, so he had to decline, and being busy probably saved his life. Although strangely, Derek hasn't been seen or heard from in a while. He seems to have pretty much vanished. Which makes me wonder, did he know too much about something? Perhaps the other people that could have potentially been involved with Luca had found out that Luca had spoken to him and they have gotten rid of him to keep themselves safe. Or maybe he's just a private person. It's not entirely clear right now. But... Before we get too carried away with the speculations of what could have happened that night, we do know that Luca didn't have much of a conscience, since he did commit fraud by befriending a disabled woman and stealing her identity. It takes a person with a serious lack of morals to do that, and when we see the footage of him after committing the murder, he is wearing June's t-shirt, almost like some kind of trophy. He even stops to admire himself in the mirror. Is this really the behaviour of somebody who was forced to mutilate an innocent man against his will? Absolutely not. So I think it's safe to rule out the possibility that he was forced to do this by Manny. And although things don't completely add up, I don't think we should underestimate Luca and what he is capable of. In my opinion, I don't think Manny was a real person who made Luca carry out these crimes. It's likely that he carried out these things because he enjoyed doing them. I do, however, think he got involved with some dark people while in the escort business, and that someone was indeed offering him money to do these things, and I think that person perhaps persuaded him to kill someone for profit. Luca seemed motivated by money and fame, and by making these videos, it was a way to achieve both. And if this theory is indeed true, it means that the person paying for these things to be done is still out there now. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Do you think Manny was real and that Luca was actually being forced to do these things? Or do you think he acted alone? Or do you think he made these videos and sold them to someone? Leave me a comment and let me know what you think.